language, household units that is secured by a mortgage, deed of trust, or other equivalent consensual security interest. Well, I've had conversations with lawyers and players in the market already about this as to whether or not a contract for deed is in fact a, a, an equivalent consensual security interest. My friends from Colorado who don't have problems doing contract for deeds think, well, this is an easy way out. We're just gonna go back to selling properties on contract for deed. Those of us who live in Texas have a problem with that because we already got a statutory scheme that is making it virtually impossible, unless we're dealing with an investor, to sell a property on a contract for deed. And the same thing is true with a lease coupled with an option. And so it appears that there may be a hole in the statute because it talks about a consensual security interest on a dwelling. And one could make a good argument that a lease with an option and or a contract for deed doesn't constitute a consensual security interest. I can tell you for many, many years the bankruptcy court has taken the position that an executory contract, one that is still in the pro pro process of being performed, including a contract for deed, is not the equivalent of a deed of trust. So for whatever reason, this language I think is going to be an issue that we're going to look to in the future. And then they also say on a dwelling is defined as it is in the Truth and Lending Act, but basically anything that can be resided in, uh, a mobile home, whether it's on a house or not, or otherwise, even a, even a boat, in many instances can be considered a dwelling, and it can also include property that is intended to be constructed um, with a dwelling on it. Make sense? So it can be a lot that you're going to, down the road, uh, build a house. <coughs> and by the way, my usual rule of thumb or, or format is to ask you to wait till I've finished before you ask me questions so I can get through the presentation and I'm usually gonna cover it anyway, but I don't mind taking an occasional question if you think it's critical to your understanding of where we are at this point in time. Any questions at this point?